Tonight, a show of support and understanding for those who suffer from drug addiction. This is International Overdose Awareness Day. We caught up with some local families taking some painful steps. They are loved and they will always be loved. Holding back tears, a mother still grieving over the death of her daughter and unborn granddaughter shares why this walk along the South Bank is so important. We're going to walk a mile carrying our lost loved one's shoes. A powerful, emotional journey for these loved ones wounded by the loss of lives to drug addiction. Their loved one's shoes lining the route. We've got some candles to light and hugs to give. There's so much stigma and shame associated with overdose and addiction and we want everyone to know that they were loved. It's excruciating. The only way really to describe it is uh, it's like you wake up every day feeling like you just heard the news that day, like it just happened that day. Mike Atani says he and his family are walking to honor his son lost to a fentanyl overdose. Some days you want to dig, dig a hole and crawl in it and, and uh, not get out and uh, and then some days you just try to figure you got to move on and, and try to live life. And these families say they're here to spread awareness to try to remove the stigma associated with overdose. We were at the Chinese Embassy last weekend, uh, our group, Voices with Fentanyl for Fentanyl. So it's really exciting. Hopefully, hopefully we can get some justice for these young kids, young kids that didn't know what they were taking, didn't were deceived. This happens to the best of people. These he, he wasn't a junkie. Um, he made horrible mistake and with that came addiction and, uh, and then death. It's really sad. This event, Walk a Mile in Their Shoes, was co-sponsored by two local nonprofits founded by mothers who lost their adult children to overdose.